Hey guys, so today is my first mid-month tea time discussion question answer video and yeah, it's the first time so there aren't really any questions to answer at this point but uh, there's plenty to discuss. There's always plenty to discuss and I know it's tea time but I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet today so this is actually coffee but in the future it'll be tea. So, um, I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about today, and my first thought was that I wanted to talk about homesteading, and it's something I've been thinking about for a while now, um, just some ideas that have been running through my mind and stuff, but they're not all quite there yet, I haven't got it all together. So. Um, I figured there aren't any questions to answer, but I'm sure plenty of people will have questions, so I thought I would just kind of use this time to introduce myself a little bit and then discuss something that's been happening in my life just recently. So, um, <clears throat> uh, my name's Loriana, and I grew up in Southern Delaware. And I was homeschooled, kindergarten through eighth grade. And then I went to a uh, Christian college preparatory kind of school uh, for high school. And when I was, let's see, during high school, when I was 16, I went on a missions trip to Brazil. And that was my first time you know, going out of the country. Uh, for college, I, uh, all my classmates knew exactly what they wanted to do, what field they wanted to go into, where they wanted to go to school at, and, you know, college prep school, you're, you're supposed to kind of have an idea of where you want to go with your life. And I didn't, really. Um, I, the only things I was really interested in were like art schools and stuff. And unless you're super extremely talented, they basically tell you like, mm, that's your dream, but you better get a new one kind of thing. And uh, they're also really expensive. And yeah. so that idea just kind of went out the window and I was trying to think of something more realistic and I couldn't think of anything and I decided that I wanted to go to Bethel Ministry School in California and I thought that sounds like a great idea so I applied and I was accepted and then one day during worship time I think it was a youth group it might have been your youth group or it might have been church I don't know but uh, I was praying and I kind of felt like the Lord tapped me on the shoulder and was like, hey. And I was like, yes. Yeah. I'm listening. Go ahead, talk. Kind of thing. And he was like, I didn't tell you to go to Bethel. And at this point, it was like February of my senior year. So it's too late to really apply anywhere else. And I was just like, what do you mean you didn't tell me to go? Like. It's, it's a good thing and you didn't say no initially. And he was like, you never asked. And I was like, oh, it's a good thing. I didn't think I needed to ask about good things. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'm not going to Bethel. So now what do I do? And I ended up just going to the local community college. And it was, I don't know. Life was good, school was terrible, but life was good. And then one day, about mid-semester, first year of college, um, a lady that I knew who was in China, no, at the time she wasn't in China, but her and her family had been in China as missionaries. And they were back stateside for a little while uh, with some family stuff. And she was like, we were just chatting. I don't even remember what we were talking about. 
chatting on Facebook or something. And she was like, my parents are coming back for a visit and then they're going to be going back in April. I think it was April. April or May. And I think you should go back with them. And like do missions work and teaching English and stuff. And the second I read it, I was just like, like I knew that she had said it, but it was God talking to me like you need to do this. And I did not want to do it. Like I was happy and I was comfortable where I was with my life. And I was like, I don't want to go to the other side of the world. And I, I was struggling with that really, really strongly, which this person is one of those kind of people who thinks that everybody should do what they're doing. So normally I wouldn't take her too seriously when she would say something like that. But I just, sometimes you just know it's more than just what the person is saying to you. And I was praying about it and praying about it. And I, I kind of talked myself out of it. Like this is just me because I'm really not satisfied with my life where it is right now and I want some adventure or something. And through a series of circumstances, I became convinced that it was God telling me to do it. So I started the process of like contacting the school as an English teacher and filing paperwork and all this stuff. And I contacted them and they told me they didn't want me. And I was like, see God, they don't want me. Not my fault. I, you know, I took the initiative. I reached out to them. They don't want me. Nothing else I can do about it. And, um, Later, they contacted me back again and essentially said, we still don't want you, but nobody else is applying and we need more teachers. So if you still want to come, go ahead and fill out this paperwork. Long, very long story short, I did end up in China the following year um, when I was 19. And... Uh, that was probably one of the hardest years of my life, which I might talk about a different time, but um, <clears throat> through that hardest year of my life, I met a very wonderful man who is now my husband. And we, um, I came back to the States for 10 months and then I went back and we got married and I studied Chinese language and literature at Harbin Institute of Technology for two years. I had a four-year scholarship, but uh, I got pregnant and we were kind of planning on going back, but we didn't. And I'm, I'm really glad we didn't because I'm, I'm done with school. But uh, anyway, now we live in Delaware. I won't say exactly where because, you know, but uh, we live in Delaware and we have three children and if you missed my introductory video that kind of tells you where we're at and where we're headed with things so that's a basic introduction um, of who I am and where I come from and all that give you room to ask some more questions for the next Q&A if anybody feels like it um, so with living in a rural area in southern Delaware <clears throat> we've recently become aware of how difficult it is to find internet like reliable high-speed internet and obviously if you're doing a YouTube channel you kind of need to be able to upload things on a regular basis and uh, my husband also is um, uh, been offered a part-time job which needs very reliable internet as well so we've been looking into what is exactly available in our area and basically it's dish and that's it um, <laughs> so then we were thinking you know as we're looking for properties to you know either buy a house or build a house like especially if we're building one being aware of what is available in that location you know like you want land that's good if you're planning on homesteading you want a sizable chunk of land that doesn't have restrictions like you are allowed to keep animals 
and different things you're allowed to build on the land all that stuff is important but also just realizing we should also be checking and making sure that internet is a thing that's available which honestly it's a little bit frustrating because in this area for those of you who don't know anything about Delaware we do not have sales tax and um, things are relatively cheap compared to our neighboring states so we have a lot of people who retire here or move here from um, Pennsylvania New Jersey especially New Jersey but Pennsylvania New Jersey New York um, lots of people who move here especially retiring which you know people in general I'm fine with but there's so many people retiring here that it has bumped a lot of prices up but there's still not that many jobs because it's a small state and the jobs don't pay as good because they're still running on what the economy would normally be for a state like ours so young people who live here because they were born and raised here have a very difficult time finding a substantial job to support them and their families and be able to afford a house and afford a living you know for food and clothes and everything else they need and so you have a lot of young people who are leaving the area young people even older people who are just leaving the area because they can't afford to live here really and um, just talking to some other people and it's like there are so many job opportunities online where you can work from home using the internet and make a substantial amount of money and that is a great backup option even if it's for a secondary job but you have to have reliable internet which just isn't really a thing around here and just how much how many problems in our modern lifestyle you can have without reliable internet so that's my uh, that's my frustration this week and uh, hopefully it'll get fixed at some point but for now I have to go somewhere besides my house to upload videos and things which requires a little bit more planning on my part but we make it work so anyway that's this week's tea time discussions and questions and answers hope the rocking isn't bothering you if it is sorry anyway um so yeah that's this week's first tea time coffee time uh question and answer discussion if you have any questions go ahead and leave them on this video or any of my other videos and I would be happy to answer them and let you guys know more about me um and yeah I guess that's all for today these videos will probably only be between like 10 and 15 minutes most of the time unless I have like tons of questions at some point probably not anytime in the near future but it could happen someday so 10 to 15 minutes just talking about life stuff and uh, my thoughts on things so next week will probably be talking about homesteading and um, I'll be reading an excerpt from a journal from the 1500s I think somebody who I'm like mildly related to and just thoughts on their life and what homesteading used to be and how it's changed over the years and how it's the same and stuff like that so uh that's all for today and i'll see you later in the week i'll see you today's wednesday i will see you tomorrow for a homesteading video um and then i'm gonna have saturday i think i will have a video up on um how to hang hats my own special DIY hat hangers for either free recycled or cheap whichever however it works out for you for me it's basically free recycling things so that's what's coming up this week and I'll see you again on Sunday for a quick weekly update and don't forget to leave any questions or comments down below like share subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye